Right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for that loss uh, of uh, connection that we had from the the live video, but let let us try to continue from here. So after you've drew your given view, so le, I'll try to to be fast on this one because uh, it's good as if I'm repeating these steps. So I can decide to say this is my zero, this is one, this is two, this is three. This is back to zero, which is four. You can even still be like one, two, three, four, it's still one and the same thing. As long as the number ring is consistent, like as I've said earlier. So I've got A, B, C, D. You can have your A, B, C, D, anti localized is still one and the same thing. So now place your compass here. The bottom right hand corner of your front view to get the true length further extended to this point b there you go then from there take it vertical up i'm just repeating these steps from the live video we 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 we, we did spoke about this this is going to be r this is going to be m median point Further extend this line, faint, then from there start right opposite of your what of your cutting plane, which is B C. Yeah. Place your compass at B, further extend it to C. Right? Have a faint line that's going to be like this. So, okay, this is B C. I can decide to so this is b this is c so i did not convert it remember we uh, i said that in your live video earlier before then from there what do we do so we are having a center so the center which is c to the center isn't it C to the center or B to the center, still one and one and same thing. But this must be the center. Yes. So this must be the center. So now I'm getting this. Draw it up. Even if you cannot do like that, because there are so many methods. Okay, let me do the the graphical one. How like this? Isn't it? I want to get it. Point two is in the center of what? Of BC. Place your compass at C. Further extend it to 2. And the distance of C, 2 is the same as distance of 2B. Eh? Come to your true length, convert it. Since I'm moving from an alphabet to a number, isn't it? So this is B, 2, even if you can say 2B, still run the same thing. So here, C, Two. They are sharing the same point. Now take it up. I'm trying to be fast since uh, we did. I'm I'm just repeating this step from that live video which we had the loss. We we did this. Then now come place your compass here. Two point M. Now strike an arc here and strike an arc here join your axe duck and so this gives us point two yeah? now get point two to one uh, it's a number to a number, isn't it? So I do not have to convert it. Two to one. Come. Be careful. Strike an arc here. Strike an arc here. Two to one. Then from there, what is happening? Come back to your, to your top view. 
I, I just got the distance or the from two to one, uh, which is the same as two to three, isn't it? That is why I struck an arc both side. Now, place your compass at B, which you have B, yeah, in your development. Place it at B to the point that you're looking for, which is point one. There you go. Convert it. After I've converted it, after I've converted, name it. This is B1. B1 is the same as C3. Construct it. Up. After you've constructed it, get rid of it. How? Like this? This is it. This is B1 and C3. So now come to B to the point that you're looking for, which means point one is there. And again, C3, which means my one is there and my three is there. Construct it. Here you go. Here you go. So which means I can also construct them down to C and one down to B. Like this. Then from there, we've gotten one, two, three. We are looking for point zero and four. We've gotten this B1 and C3. Let's get A, B, and D, C. Come to your top view, place your compass here. There you go. Come to your C. Strike an arc here. Faint. And strike an arc here. Faint as well. Erase this one, you don't need them anymore. Along this arc, we must get point B. Along this arc, we must get point what? D. So, and we, uh, we uh, remember that we are using point. I mean, along this arc, we must get point A, not D. A, and then this side, D. So, now, we are, because we have point one in our development, which is this one. We've got point B in our development, which is this one. The point that we're looking for is what is point A. So we are going to use 1 and B to get A. How? Like this. Place your compass to 1. Actually, from point 1 to the point that you are looking for, which is point A. Like this. Be careful. Like this. Then convert it to your true length. This is A, 1, and D, 3. Take it up. Then from there, from here, place it, go to your, to your end point. From there, this is come to one. If I set that arc to three, if I set this arc, fuse. Then from there, construct it. There you go, duck. There you go. In this side. There you go. And here you go. So I've got A here and D there. I've got A, B, C, D. One, two, three. I need a four. I need a four. How? Remember the distance of one, two is the same as two. 3 is the same as 3, 4, which means I can just 
place my compass here, further extend it to two, like this. Then I come, I strike an arc somewhere here. Three, again, strike an arc somewhere again. Right, which means along this arc, I must get point zero. Along this arc, I must get point four. Then how? Come back to your top view. Come back to your top view. The point that you are looking for is point A to zero or point A to four. And point A to zero, A to zero is the same as D to four, isn't it? So you have to convert that one. So it's the same as a one A and D and D three. So come to say in the very same point I've got A zero and D zero or four or four, isn't it? Now you place it here. Further extend it to your mid mid and point. Now you come D. You bisect that arc of yours again. You come, A, you bisect that arc of yours. After you've bisected these arcs, construct them. So this is going to be 0, point and 0, point or 4. Construct it like this. Construct it like this. Close it. There you go. So I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, back to 0, which is point 0.4. But now remember, uh, let's come back to our, our uh, top view. I've got 1, this side, which is the side of B, C is 1. The side of C, 3, I mean C, D, 2. The side of D, A, 3. The side of A, B, which is four, so I've got four sides. So again, in your what, in your what, in your top view, I mean, sorry, in your development, you must have four sides, which is one, the side of A, B, two, the side of B, C, three, the side of C, D. Where is the missing one? The missing one is this one that is uh, was cutted, which is the X X. So how do you get that? Place your compass at A, A to X, which is the center. I do not have to convert that. Come to your development. Come to your development. Strike an arc here. And strike an arc here. They are equal, isn't it? So now, now, XX, place your compass here to the upper part. Isn't it? Now we're considering the height from here to the upper part. Convert it to the true length. Come here and say X, X. And construct it up to your midden point. From here, there it goes. Then from there, come to your development. Then place it at zero. Bisect that arc. And come to even this side again. Bisect that arc. So this is the point X. Even this one is the point X. Then now construct it like this. Then close it here. Then in this side, then, then you are done. We've got one, two, three, four with this half. 
it's got zero one two three four back to zero so that's how you you get this development okay thank you very much guys for watching please subscribe and share the channel tell your student tell you tell tell, tell your, your your fellow uh, 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 classmate that we are here to assist you please throw questions that you're having problem with so that we we will also try to go live so that i i attend you guys so thank you for watching please subscribe and share the videos thank you very much good night see you in the next video let's go let's go straight to engineering drawing n2 if i'm not mistaken i've got some questions there as well